You feel pressure in your chest after eating. Maybe you blame the pizza, the beans, or the spicy meal. You burp, you move around, but the pressure stays. Here's the scary part. What most people think is simple gas could actually be their heart's final warning before a heart attack. Now, before you panic, let's make this clear. Not all chest discomfort is cardiac. But when your body sends this kind of signal, understanding the difference can literally save your life. So let's break this down. When you eat a heavy meal, your stomach expands and gas builds up, stretching the stomach walls. That stretch activates the vagus nerve, one of the body's longest nerves running from the brainstem, from back of our brain, through your chest, into your gut. That's why you feel a bloated, crampy, or burning sensation right under your breastbone. It's uncomfortable, but usually harmless. Now, here's where it gets tricky. The heart sits right behind the sternum, just above the stomach, and shears overlapping nerve pathways with the same vagus nerve and thoracic spinal nerves. So when your heart muscle starts losing oxygen, your brain gets confused with that deep pressure for indigestion. Let's say one of your coronary arteries, the vessels that feed oxygen to your heart, starts narrowing due to plaque buildup, what we call atherosclerosis. The blood flow drops, and the heart cells start crying for oxygen. Within minutes, those cells switch to anaerobic metabolism, producing lactic acid and inflammatory chemicals that irritate the surrounding nerve endings. Now your brain now receives this strange signal, but because those same nerves that serve the stomach and esophagus, the pain can feel like reflux or trapped gas. And that's why millions of people delay calling for help. Now let's go a little bit deeper into physiology. This is something you really need to understand. The spinal cord segments that receive signals from the heart, mainly T1 through T5, the thoracic nerves, also receive input from your chest wall, neck, and left arm. That's why cardiac pain can radiate or move into the arm, the jaw, or even the back. It's called referred pain. Your brain simply can't distinguish which tissue the signal is truly coming from. And here's a way to visualize it. Imagine a phone line with three houses connected to the same wire, the heart, the stomach, and the shoulder. When one house sends a distress signal, the others light up too. That's exactly how your nervous system reacts. Now, let's talk about symptoms. When that artery starts closing, your autonomic nervous system goes into overdrive. The sympathetic system triggers that sweating, that anxiety, that shortness of breath, and that sudden feeling of doom. Your blood pressure can spike, your breathing quickens, and your heart races to push more oxygen through those narrowed arteries. That's how your body's trying to survive. And that's why you might feel nausea, cold sweats, or even lightheadedness. Not from your stomach, but because your brain is responding to this systemic oxygen imbalance. And here's another reason why people miss it. These warning pains can come days or even weeks before a full heart attack. These are called unstable angina episodes when the blood flow dips just enough to cause pain, but not enough to kill the tissue yet. Each one is your body's cry for help, a red flag that a bigger event may be coming. Now let's make this interactive. If you've ever felt pressure in your chest that doesn't go away, when you move, change position, or burp, take your index and middle fingers and feel your pulse on your wrist. If it's irregular, racing, or faint, don't second guess yourself. Sit down, breathe, and call emergency services. And here's how you can tell if it's just likely gas or a reflux instead. It changes with body position. It improves with burping or bowel movement. It burns higher in the chest or throat. It's triggered immediately after food, especially when lying down. But if the discomfort feels deep, heavy, spreading, or if it's paired with dizziness, sweating, or nausea, assume the worst until proven otherwise. Let's talk timing. The average delay for people having a heart attack before calling for help is over two hours. That's way too long. 
That's two hours where the heart tissue is dying from lack of oxygen. Every minute counts, literally. Doctors call it time is muscle. And here's what's happening in that time. Within 10 minutes, the heart cells begin to lose their electrical stability. Within 20 to 30 minutes, irreversible injury begins. Within an hour, scar tissue starts forming. This isn't meant to scare you. It's to empower you because when you know these signals, you can act faster, save your heart muscle, and prevent long-term damage. So let's close with a powerful thought. Your body is designed with extraordinary intelligence. It doesn't whisper for no reason. That heaviness, that ache, that unusual feel or feeling that you're getting, it's communication. The question is, are you listening? If you've ever brushed off chest discomfort as just gas, promise yourself this. Next time, stop and pay attention. It might be nothing, but if it's something, it could be the difference between life and death. So take care of your heart, know the signs, and share this video because it just might save someone else's life. So I hope this video becomes helpful for you. And please, don't ignore those symptoms because it is your life. Please leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.